alkalize your diet. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about acid alkaline balance. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the basic concepts. First, let's unpack exactly what pH is. Well, pH stands for potential for hydrogen, and it measures the acidity or the alkalinity in a solution, so some kind of liquid. Now, we're not going to talk about blood pH in this video because our blood is very tightly regulated, and that's a whole separate thing and something that you can't test for yourself. In this video, we're going to be talking about urine and saliva pH. Now, just so you know, there's a scale from 0 to 14, 0 being the most acidic and 14 being the most alkaline. 7 is neutral. Now, the reason why I love this test is because you can do it at home with litmus paper. Now, of course, you can buy it at health food stores, but they tend to overcharge you when you buy that. So you can actually get it online for super cheap. I'm going to put a link in the video description below. Now, what you want to do, let's start with urine pH. You don't want to take your first urine of the day because it tends to be overly acidic because you're kind of dumping the acids from the night before. So instead, take that second pee of the day. Now, you can simply take a little bit of that litmus paper and just put it into the stream of your urine for a couple moments and then read your result. It will give you a little color chart and you can actually just see where your urine falls in line with that chart. Or you can put pee in a cup and then dip the paper into the cup like so. Now in terms of ideal ranges, there's lots of different controversies out there about it, but here's been my experience and based on my research. I like to see urine pHs to be anywhere between 6.0 to 6.5, particularly if it's early in the day. This shows that your body is releasing acids, which is really important. Really, your urine pH is measuring the function of your kidneys, okay? And we want to be sure that's their job is to help release acids from our system. So if you have an overly alkaline urine, it can show that your kidneys are weaker or that there's something going on in terms of your metabolic system that isn't ideal. So in the next video, I'll talk about how you can kind of lower or raise your urine and saliva pHs. So be sure to stay tuned for that one. Now, if you do test later in the day, you might see your urine become more alkaline, like up to 6, 8, or maybe even 7. And that's okay, because that's just kind of the general trend of our bodies. So now let's talk about saliva pH. This is something you want to do first thing in the morning. I like to do it before I've ha even had a drink of water, not brushing my teeth, nothing. Okay, so this is literally the saliva that's been with me all night long. And with the saliva pH, you want to see it a little bit more alkaline. So I like to see anywhere between 6.6 .6 to about 7.0. Now, what the saliva pH really indicates is your enzyme activity and kind of your mineral reserves. So it shows the function of your liver, your pancreas, and your stomach. So if your saliva is more acidic, there's some really simple ways that we can adjust that by using enzymes. But again, more in the video to come. Now, if your saliva is overly alkaline, like 7.5 and above, this might lead to issues like constipation, gas, or even fungus and mold. Now, I know a lot of raw vegans and a lot of um, kind of that raw movement and alkaline water people out there talk about wanting your urine pHs and your saliva pHs to be over 7.5 or over 7, and I really disagree. Again, based on the signs of what our kidneys and our urine is supposed to be, and as well as our saliva, I think that these ranges are more healthy and just based on my own personal experience and those of my friends and family. So there you have it, pH in a nutshell. Would love to hear from you guys. Have you tested your pHs? What do they look like? Do you think that there's any valid science to this? Put it in the comments below, and thanks for tuning in.